Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload bulk status updates into your buffer queue. So the buffer queue is a list of pending posts that you create and they go out on the schedule that you have each network set up on. So let me explain that a little bit further. For this, uh, this is one of my groups called Hustle. We're going to come to the settings and go to posting schedule. And there you see that I only currently have it scheduled to post once a week, and that's on Wednesday at 8.07. So if I upload 10 posts, it's going to give me 10 weeks of updates. If I add another one on Friday, it's going to give me five weeks of updates. Does that make sense? So you want to just make sure that you have some time set up here inside of your posting schedule. And once you do that, you're going to use a tool called Bolt Buffer. I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. But first, I want to explain when would you do this. A quick word of advice, don't automate too much of your content uh, syndication and your posting. You should still be active in posting inside of all of your communities. You should be engaging. You should be replying to comments or have someone from your team, obviously, uh, doing that. Because if you just post URLs constantly, 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 especially if they're the same URLs, you're going to start to get dinged by the social networks and you don't want that because then no one's seeing anything. Even the people that might want to see it uh, will possibly not be seeing it because Facebook is going to start noticing that nobody's interested in what you're posting. They just get crickets. So we don't want that. So what we want to do is create a good schedule that's not overly aggressive. You're going to have to play with this. For me, it's I'm very minimal because I engage a lot myself, so I don't want to create too much. That being said, I have almost 200 blog posts at my site, entreresource.com. And I want to make sure that I'm regularly sharing my old posts. So if you're like me and you have a lot of posts that you want to share uh, and URLs from your blogs and your content, your YouTube, whatever it is, bulk buffer into buffer might be a good solution. So let me show you how to go about doing that. First, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Quick note, the way that I do it is kind of complex, but it's just my method. The general principle of uploading in bulk to buffer does not change based on how you decide to do it. Don't let the spreadsheet I'm about to show you overwhelm you. You don't need to use it. If you want to make something complex like I did, go for it. But all you really need is what you want in your post and then the URL if you want to have one. And then you're going to put those into a file I'm about to show you. But don't sweat what I'm about to show you. It can be a little bit overwhelming. You don't need to be as complex as I am. What this is doing is basically taking all of my URLs I got all of my blog post URLs using this cool free WordPress plugin called Export All URLs. Super basic, straightforward name. And once I did that, I put them all into the spreadsheet. And then I created a simple little formula here that makes, uh, allows me to create a, a pre URL uh, caption. So basically, all of this is the stuff that is going to be the text. And then this is going to be the URL. And the URL should populate a featured image. So this is what I'm going to use for the text for Facebook. As you see, it's got this pre-header, which is from column C, and it puts this URL uh, from column D. So that is important, but that is, you don't have to do that. That's just how I'm doing it. So I want all of the posts that are in the entrepreneurship or marketing categories. I don't want cryptocurrency. I want Amazon FBA. Let me go through this real quick and make sure that it's all good. Okay. I don't want top posts. All right, so now all of these are gonna be good for me. So I'm going to copy all of that. As you see now, I've got the text and the URL. Don't overthink this part. This is just how I'm doing it. You can do it literally by typing manually if you want. But what I need now is I need to download a sample file. And all, the only reason you really need to download a sample file is so you can see how this is set up. It is unbelievably basic. I actually wish it was a little bit more complex uh, just so that we could do, you know, like a spreadsheet upload, but this is fine. So as you see, this line right here is an update. The next line is an update. Each line is its own update and you can add a link and you don't have to do anything crazy with parentheses or any of that. But what you want to do is widen the field and then I'm just going to paste everything that I had there before. So it's going to show everything. It looks crazy, but this is it. So I'm going to save this now real quick. Okay. Select start uploading for free. And then you just need to authorize your buffer account so that it can access it. I'm going to click here, drop file, find that file I just had. 
116 updates. Okay, cool. Make sure that they look right. They look like things that I would share on that. It does. Actually, I don't want this one. You can go through and take out ones you don't want. Um, anything with the word crypto in it, I don't want to share. All right, so that's good. So now I want to come down here and deselect the ones I don't want to share too. I just want to share this hustle. And then I'm going to select send to buffer. Sending your updates. You can close this page and you can see the progress. So I'll give it a minute for these to uh, go to buffer and then I'll show you what we do to check to make sure that they actually went through. Okay, so almost all of them have gone through now. So what I want to do is go into my buffer account. So I'm going to go to that group, that hustle. I'm going to see the queue and as you see now there's stuff that has, there was nothing in there before and now there are all of these posts that are ready to go. And what I recommend you do at this point is that you consider again, consider the timing of your posting schedule. I only have this on for once a week uh, and that's, that's all I want for now. I don't, like I said, I don't want to overdo it. So since I'm only doing it once a week, I do want to make sure that every one of my posts is really good. And actually, I don't think that I even want to share that one. Let's cancel it. Right, let's delete that, confirm it. Once you see the posts, uh, you kind of might decide that you don't like them anymore. So I want to delete this one too. Sometimes they don't, the thumbnails don't look great or there's just something about them that you don't like and be very choosy with what you decide to share. And every time you delete one, it will just move up the one before it into the uh, queue. I could change the uh, position so that it shows these multiple times and I wouldn't have to do anything else. If I decide I wanted to post it on a Saturday as well, it would do that and I wouldn't have to do anything crazy. So that is it guys. That is how you upload in bulk to Buffer. Don't overthink it with the spreadsheet that I made. That is just my method of doing it. You can do it any way you want, but the concept is just you put those updates into the text file. Every single one of the lines is its own update. You upload them through bulk Buffer, sync it with Buffer, and then you can see all these posts as they go into your schedule. Again, be careful, don't overdo this, but it's definitely a great way to get stuff up very, very quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to leave comments if you have any questions because I do check and answer every single one of them. Take these guys, I hope that was helpful.